you. What up? All right. Um, so uh, we got another one from Andrew Schultz. Hmm. Okay. Okay. The great Andrew Schultz. Yes. Yeah, man. What we got? This is skydiving is stupid. Skydiving is stupid. Yeah. Yeah, man. Uh, skydiving is stupid. Bro. Unless it's for like a necessary purpose, you know, unless you're in, like the military, you know, using it to go. You know, infantry. I can understand that. Night, you know what I'm I can saying? understand that. Yeah. But just to purposes. seek a thrill for thrill seekers. You know, the <sighs> adrenaline. You are risk you are technically you are risking your life. Yeah. Like I you know, I've heard lots of cases where parachutes don't open. And it, it, it is terrifying, you know what I'm saying? It's terrifying to think about it, oh, and it is it's be... definitely sad to think that that person probably hadn't jumped too many more, too many times before then, before that parachute didn't deploy. Yeah, and, and you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, you could you could jump a thousand times and it don't open, or yeah. it could be your first time and the shit don't open. Yeah, like I wonder what the numbers are. Like, how many people that like have jumped and successfully jumped and landed to the people that have actually died? What? Like, I wonder if like, it's close. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's not. <laughs> I hope the ones that have su survived the landing are <laughs> way higher. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is it like every 10 go up? You know what I'm saying? Only nine come down. Is it like. No, I just. Nine? It has to be more. If it's one out of 10 people that go up die, nigga, there would be less people skydiving. <laughs> I would shit my pants if my shit didn't open. Like it would be yeah. a nigga, if nigga, if you were skydiving next to me and my shit didn't open, you would hear all kind of shit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'd be pissed. Oh, why the fuck is why the fuck is that to happen to me? Yeah. And I would shit my pants and I would be going I crazy. Say, man, I'd be like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nigga, we would both die. Mm -hmm. I got you, Frank. <laughs> <clears throat> James Bond like nigga it would take <laughs> you don't have that first time you don't have that much skill to save us Person bro <laughs> Obviously, man. we will be dead it looks easy you know what I'm saying it looks easy we've but, seen it on YouTube we've seen it on YouTube where people try to man. but I truly don't know how I would react man you know honestly like if I was free falling in the air like I don't know if I'd be in shock yeah. you know I bungee jumped before you know what I mean dropped from a very high point and swung you know what I mean with with you know with the chance of that Bungee cord Snapping. breaking. Yeah. yeah, yeah, me dying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or me reaching behind my back and just pulling something and pulling the wrong thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you're like free falling, it's like, I don't know, like a minute or something. Yeah. You know you're going to die and you're like, oh, I'm going to hit the floor yeah. and I heard, I'm going to splatter. I, I, I heard most people that that, uh, that do jump, like, you know what I mean? That jump without parachutes, you know, to their deaths, unfortunately. I mean, but they, they die before impact. Like, I don't know how true that is. Usually they go into shock. They get passed out or something. Or, yeah. I, I would hope. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? That'd be the case. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, skydiving is stupid. Andrew yes. Schultz. Let's go. All right. First of all, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done challenging myself. I'm over it. That shit is stupid. You know when you're young and they tell you, oh, you gotta like uh, face your fears? No, your fears are there to help you. The fears are good, okay? I have a fear of heights. That's a good thing. When I look over a side of a building, right, I'm not supposed to go, that, that looks beautiful. My ball should be in my neck when I look over the side of the building, okay? That's your body's way of saying, back up, you fucking idiot. You're done. Like an idiot, I decided to try to conquer my fear of, of heights by going skydiving. I don't know if any of you guys have gone skydiving here. Anybody? You went, okay, a couple people have gone skydiving. <laughs> Let me tell you this shit, this is real. Skydiving is the stupidest fucking thing you could possibly do. The best case scenario is you live. <laughs> you know what we were doing right before that? Living, we were living, that's what we were doing. Why would I pay $300 to keep fucking doing what I was doing? That's stupid. Now, like an idiot, I decided to go skydiving. Okay, um, I decided to go. I asked my friends, I say, you know, you guys went, did you like it? Everybody says, I loved it, right? And I realized that's because the people who, they didn't really like it that much, are dead, okay? <laughs> <laughs> They're not around to tell us how shitty skydiving could be sometimes, okay? There are no bad reviews on Yelp for skydiving. <laughs> Those people hit the ground before they could go on unsatisfactory experience. 
first time you go, you have to go. It's called tandem. Uh, tandem <laughs> means you spend three hundred dollars to be a bottom. Um, <laughs> So a bottom is the guy in the gay relationship that gets the dick put in him, okay? So basically, a guy in a spandex onesie. Uh, I want to point out, I didn't ask him to dress that way. I just want to point that out. I didn't send him an email and say, hey, you know how you're going to be uh, really close to me tomorrow? Why don't you wear something that could feel your cock good? That'd be perfect. <laughs> this asshole shows up in lycra, head to toe lycra. Did you go bobsledding earlier today? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Walks up behind me, goes, I'm gonna strap you on. Whispers in my ear, when we jump out of the plane, I just want you to arch your back. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to what? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna videotape it. No, we're not gonna videotape it. <laughs> I'm not gonna have a video of some dude in spandex right behind me. <laughs> Started feeling comfortable. I check myself, okay? I said, no dude's dick pushed up against my ass gonna make me question my sexuality, okay? I love chicks, nothing's changing that shit. Strap it on, onesie, let's fucking do this. <laughs> I didn't realize I'd be going to a shitty little plane, okay? And for 15,000 feet, there would be constant turbulence. <laughs> and I'm sitting on this motherfucker's lap. <laughs> Dropping it like it's hot on his ass for 15,000 hot dog in the bun situation, okay? He's whispering in my ear, don't forget to harness your back. <laughs> this warm ass breath in my fucking ear. Shut up, shut up. Stop it with your warm ass nice breath in my ear. <laughs> I start to feel uncomfortable again, okay? I check myself once again. I say, no dude's dick vibrating ferociously. It's <laughs> my ass. You're gonna make me question my sexuality. I love chicks. Nothing's changed in that shit. Let's do, 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 do this. <laughs> we reached the altitude. We jumped uh, out that plane. We started to fall. Uh, I wish that motherfucker was inside me. Look, I did. I did. I, I could not be close enough to that man. <laughs> He was like, arms open. I said, hold me, uh, motherfucker. <laughs> the fuck you mean arms? I'm the little spoon. You're the big spoon. We are spooning to safety. That's how this shit works. Uh, <laughs> I don't care if any of you guys judge me. In that moment, I'd be fine if he was inside me. Because at least if he was inside me, if he tried to unbuckle me, I could be like, no! <laughs> You're not going nowhere, buddy. I've been doing ass kegels for a month to prepare for this. All right, guys, that's my time. Thank you so much for listening, man. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. There's no no reason to do it. Nah, man. <laughs> There's no reason to go yeah. skydiving. Pay three hundred dollars to keep living. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah man. Why go somewhere? You're. It's, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. I, well, thrill. I can understand you're seeking a thrill. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like something inside you. You're seeking a thrill. Like you wanna. I imagine. I imagine for a lot of people on their first time. Like, it's not a thrill until the parachute is deployed. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, eh, like the free fall, like, you know. Ah, yeah. They're probably, this is probably that, thrilling. Uh, that, that guarantees the free deploy, fall. I'm like, yeah. All right, we just got to land. Now. Well, then you're thankful <laughs> you're alive. <laughs> and I'm just happy to be alive uh, with that parachute open. Oh, uh, man, yeah. But I imagine it will be thrilling, yeah. like, going up, jumping off yeah. the plane, about yeah. to jump off the plane, like, oh. Yeah, definitely. Oh, arch your back. Why are you telling him to arch his back? <laughs> Imagine it's like, I mean, I don't know, just separate. You always see people that are like, you know, I thought you're like forced to fall this way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you just put yourself in like cannonball, you're just going to do like circles and, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It'd be. <laughs> it'd be trouble, I imagine. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess I can understand people that, and people, you know, people that, I guess like, 
like uh, diving with like sharks and shit, you're also risking your life there. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? People are risking their life there. Definitely surfing. Like, surfing, yeah. mountain climbers mm -hmm. without harnesses or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, mm. A lot of motherfuckers that risk their life. People that exactly. build skyscrapers and shit. Way up there on the on the top of the yeah. window washers and shit. Niggas risking their life up there. I be seeing this shit. Like, what the hell? Yeah, that's insane. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if it's all the same feeling they see. Or if they are, you know. Well, window washers probably get paid a lot. That's probably <laughs> why they do it. <laughs> you pay me enough, I might be up there washing windows <laughs> and shit. Nigga. Okay.